Hello my dear children I welcome you all to your English class In today's class we'll be doing a very interesting poem Windy Nights So without wasting our time let's first read this poem Windy Nights Whenever the moon and stars are set whenever the wind is high All night long in the dark and wet a man goes riding by Late in the night when the fires are out Why does he gallop and gallop about whenever the trees are crying aloud and ships are tossed at sea by on the highway low and loud by at the gallop goes he by at the gallop he goes and then by he comes back at the gallop again night the poet associates the wind to the moon and the stars late at night the wind is picturized as a man on a horse back who gallops on and on and make the trees cry and toss the ship at the sea and the galloping horseman comes on and off the wind is portrayed as a mysterious force that is inevitable and inescapable so let us try to understand the poem children but before that i would like to take up a few important meanings so that you can have a better understanding gallop means to move or proceed at a great speed or the fastest pace of a horse the moon and stars are set means moons and stars when are not seen in the sky the trees are crying aloud means the wind is moving through the trees and due to that the trees are making a noise the branches and the leaves of the trees when they move they make some noise ships are tossed at sea means the ships are moved up and down by the waves children now let us read the poem and try to understand each line whenever the moon and stars are set that means when the moons and stars cannot be seen in the sky whenever the wind is high whenever the wind is high here means the wind moves at a very high pace or it is very windy outside you can say all night long in the dark and wet throughout the night it remains dark and wet that means it rains all right so at night in the rain a man goes riding by the poet says that it seems that when the stars are set they are not seen when the wind is high when it is very windy outside and when it is dark and wet outside it seems that there is a man who goes riding by who goes on a horse riding now here the man is nobody else but it is the wind itself that means it is the wind outside that creates a noise as if a man goes riding by late in the night when the fires are out here when the fires are out means when people have put out the fires and have gone to sleep why does he gallop and gallop about now the poet is questioning that when people sleep when the fires are put off and the people people sleep goes for a sleep why does this man gallop and gallop about actually the poet is questioning that when everybody is sleeping why the wind is moving so at a high pace why the wind is creating such a noise why the wind is moving so, at a very high pace okay so here there is nobody else outside it is only the wind that is making all that noise whenever the trees are crying aloud now here poet says whenever the trees are crying aloud means the wind is moving through the trees and the trees are making a noise and the ships are tossed at sea at the same time the ships are tossed at sea the wind moves the waves in the sea creates waves in the sea and due to those waves the ships are tossed that means the ships are moved up and down by the waves so 
on the highway low and loud that means on the highway sometimes the wind is very low and sometimes it is very loud and by at the gallop goes he and by at the gallop goes he means the poet says that it seems that the horse rider is going through the highway sometimes loud and some sometimes low but the there is no horse rider there is no one outside it is only the wind that is moving across the highway and sometimes it is low and sometimes it is loud that means the pace of the wind is sometimes low sometimes it is very loud and by at the gallop he goes and then by he comes back at the gallop again so the wind is moving through the highway sometimes it goes back and sometimes again it comes sometimes low sometimes loud so in this picture the poet r l stevenson robert lewis sweet stevenson has very beautifully picturized the wind as a horse rider okay so the wind is portrayed as a very mysterious dark force that is unavoidable unavoidable unescapable now children let's read something about the poet the poem windy night is written by robert louis stevenson he was born in 1850 in edinburgh united kingdoms he died in the year 1894 he was a scottish poet and writer and some of his very famous poems were the lamp lighter the house beautiful and the underwoods so he was also known as r l stevenson so this was one of his very short and sweet poem written by uh, r l stevenson the windy nights i hope that you all enjoyed this Thank you very much for your kind attention.